Good day, this is the latest and the first tropical update for uh, Tropical Storm 14W or MENA, it is the 23rd of August 2011-09 Zulu, 5 p.m. Philippine time or 6 p.m. Japan time. We have a 14W just uh, recently upgraded to a tropical storm by the JTWC here, located approximately 420 kilometers northeast of Iraq Tanduanes, maximum sustained winds of 65 now, uh, gusting to around 85 kph. A MENA or 14W has been stationary uh, so the past six hours just dr drifting mainly to the north very very slowly here as the steering currents remain very weak in this region showing you a wider view of, of uh, MENA in this visual satellite image and you can see this huge circulation and um, the this uh, cloud formation over the center as I said 420 kilometers northeast of Iraq and you can also see the Philippine archipelago here uh, again with the 14W staying well offshore of the Philippine Islands to uh, cause any sort of direct uh, impact here and uh, but still going to be enhancing that southwest monsoon going to be still uh, and also that uh, intertropical convergence zone uh, going to enhance rain showers of 50 to 100 millimeters in 24 hours particularly here in the eastern seaboard and also that um, uh, rain bands also from from uh, from the ITCZ extending as far south here into Visayas and into Mindanao but as far as 14W uh, forecast uh, not showing uh, the storm to make landfall here in the Philippines uh, so very good news for the for the country there uh, but as far as rains go probably continue because of the, the southwest monsoon now going back to 14W we have the corresponding infrared image and you can see this burst of convection here right over the center actually now over the past two hours so uh, indicating some signs of perhaps further uh, further intensification and probably continuing well into the night being uh, helped by the the diurnal maximum um, later tonight and uh, as I said it is now a tropical storm so really well on its way to to uh, continuing to intensify further and also here we also have the water vapor image showing this uh, outflow, poleward outflow now beginning to, to become well established into this tut cell or a tropical upper tropospheric trough just east of Okinawa and you can see the circulation here in the water vapor so the trail of kind of a uh, clouds and moisture uh, as, as, as I said helping to, to ventilate and uh, also some, uh, some outflow on the southern half beginning to form as well so again also that expanding CDO in the near the center helping this to intensify much further and it could become a typhoon by the end of this week according to some models and forecasts showing you the microwave image uh, on the storm here showing you the, the um, sort of the structure of, of 14W presently and you can see still have the majority of the convection mainly to the western and southwestern half of the of the storm you can see the center is right over here and you can see some banding trying to wrap around uh, the low level circulation center this is uh, from AMSU so kind of a low resolution type of image but um, still giving you a uh, general idea of of still a tropical storm in in the uh, formative stages of, of development still has long ways to go of becoming a really really strong uh, system here now going to the forecast in terms of tropical storm uh, computer models have actually very little confidence with the following forecast here because again showing you the the forecast tracks from, from the computer models still diverging widely for the next uh, at least three to five days here the main thing is you can see here models are showing two systems to develop this week one being 14W and another one forming here n west of Guam west of the Marianas and that will be the critical thing uh, critical ingredient so to speak for the for the forecast track for 14W we're showing you the three models here showing you also here uh, ECMWF also forecasting that by the end of this week by Saturday 27th of August forecasting two storms to intensify and you can see by this time the system west of Guam will be much stronger than 14W so the this scenario being shown by Euro is, is uh, again another possibility into the long range uh, long list of computer model solutions that we continue to see and uh, 
as we play into this as we play the forecast you can see by monday see only one system kind of remains we still have the vor vorticity here but the main system will be the one forming west of okinawa kind of eating the the uh, 14w circulation um, and then uh, becoming a larger tropical system uh, perhaps a uh, strong typhoon by late uh, by the middle of next week and uh, according to this euro forecast this will actually head into southern mainland japan perhaps into kyushu or shikoku by again by uh, the middle of next week so again we have a uh, very different uh, seeing very different computer model forecasts uh, solutions and another one we have the uh, cmc model and i want you to focus on this frame here showing you this this low pressure systems and as i play that forecast and you can see by uh, okay, by by 24 hours from now you can see two low pressure systems forming here and also as play that by 48 hours it's still showing that kind of a twin storm system uh, sh uh forming and also by 72 hours or three days from now one of them will likely become more dominant and eat up again than suck or at least absorb the, the circulation of the other storm and as I play that more you see it, kind of, it tries to wobble as is, as the model try to, uh, tries to resolve that uh, Fujiwara or direct cyclone interaction between these two storms and uh, as you can see here by the, by the by the next week see actually two storms again trying to split up from each other I don't really know what CMC is trying to show here but Definitely, the general idea is to have some sort of Fujiwara effect happening down the down the road, and uh, the that is again the the general thinking, and that will be the ingredient for our forecast tracks is what will uh, happen next week with these two storms. So again, I'm, I told you earlier we have very low confidence with this forecast track, but in the general idea for 40W is for us for it to slowly move northward and then perhaps turn northeastward uh, by Friday or by sorry, yes, Thursday as that system uh, west of Guam try to really uh, stro uh, strengthen and uh, some sort of influence 14W track here uh, but as you can see good news for the Philippines this will not really make landfall here in Luzon and also in terms of strength uh, mainly a tropical storm for the next uh, three days but uh, leaving at a chance for for it to to perhaps become a typhoon by the by this weekend depending on the depending on the interaction with uh, with the developing system here but in terms of conditions very favorable high sea surface temperatures and uh, again the outflow and as well and uh, going to JTWC's forecast we also have uh, a general northeastward trend also from the JTWC although it is expecting 14W to strengthen much faster now, becoming a typhoon in as little as uh, three days here. But again, the general track is for it to um, to move northeastward. And JTWC also mentioning that uh, that cyclone interaction with this uh, with the system it forming here uh, west of the Marianas. Again, so you're gonna as you're asking where is that system? Well. We have Invest 97W and we are thinking this is the system that could probably develop in two to three days time. Right now JTWC is giving it a medium chance of developing into a cyclone for the next uh, 24 hours. So extreme, uh, certainly some, some potential for this uh, for this system. Again this is the Marianas. You uh, can see Guam here and you still not organized in terms of circulation or cloud formation. Uh, can't really see the low-level circulation center in the middle of this mess, but uh, you can see the the clouds certainly trying to form and build around what would be a future storm here. In terms of infrared, it's still spotty and largely disorganized. And you can still see this this uh, cluster of convection just remaining near and around the Marianas Islands, and also bringing some rains actually near Guam and Saipan here for the next uh, for over for almost a day now so uh, also the the islands reporting some strong winds there as well around uh, 30 to 40 kph so indeed some sort of a system trying to spin up and develop but uh, and only time will tell so how important and how important would 97w be for the track we have here the infrared image 
I'm just gonna show the general forecast here we have invest uh, we, I'm sorry we have trouble storm 14w and also invest 97w so the thinking is 14w will move north eastward and then during that same time we have 97w developing into a strong tropical storm and moving north northwest and uh, the thinking is that by this weekend somewhere in this area this box area they will be close enough to begin affecting each other it's called the Fujiwara effect and then they will try to spin around oscillate around a common point and uh, again some models trying to forecast a more dominant 97W eating up on 14W's future circulation we don't know that it's just one of the many possibilities certainly but in terms of places that will be affected certainly uh, areas as far south as northern Tokyo and as extending north towards southern Japan will have to closely monitor the developments of these two systems over the next few days because as I told you earlier we still have very low confidence in terms of the forecast and won't really have uh, an idea on the the forecast tracks and intensities uh, as long as we don't have 97W developing and um, once we have that uh, s uh, settled, models will probably converge in a much better solution for the for the uh, for the track here. But again, this that this will be this will still be up in the air for the next few days as we try to resolve that uncertainties. So yeah, for the moment, just keep watching it and just keep it right here for the for the latest. I just also want to mention quickly 95W. We've been now. Uh, talking about the system actually uh, since last week here in the, on our blog you can still see the exposed low level circulation center still under some very strong wind shear GTW still GTWC is still rating this low for possible chances so still not uh, giving up on this one uh, more some computer models are actually showing this to kind of a develop uh, into a weak tropical system that could actually be a player in this uh, unfolding Fujiwara effect or monsoon gyre actually being shown by other models so again still going to be a very uncertain uh, forecast for the next few days definitely uh, also just before I end this this, uh, this forecast just want to quickly mention the Atlantic Basin here in the United States we have now a hurricane first hurricane of the 2011 Atlantic season we have Hurricane Irene actually a category 2 hurricane with winds over 100 miles per hour it's moving north of Dominican Republic uh, right now but you can see the southern portion of that, uh, the central dense overcast and then that eye wall touching the uh, the northern coast of Dominican Republic and also moving into Haiti but as you can see great overall organization actually don't they really have an eye yet right now in terms of infrared nor vis visual satellite even if if it's a, a category 2 the recon uh, mission actually supports uh, winds of category 2 here so that's why in the NHC or not the National Hurricane Center upgraded this into a cat 2 but the short-term forecast is for this to continue moving northwestward towards the Bahamas see Turks and Caicos moving just uh, north of Cuba here uh, and the long range, uh, medium to long range forecast to bring Irene towards the uh, southeastern United States, possibly making landfall in uh, the Carolinas as a strong category 3 hurricane. So, might want to be, be updated on this storm if you have friends or if you live in this, in this part of the world. Uh, suggest 28storms.com uh, doing uh, video updates just like this one but again uh, focused mainly in the Atlantic Basin here so that is all the updates for today here in the tropics we'll have another update uh, tomorrow uh, f hopefully again uh, with regards to the developments just keep it right here and always always listen to your uh, official weather agencies for the warnings and forecast official forecast for the tropical storms near your area so until our next update stay safe out there uh, see you tomorrow bye bye